Return to the lawless era of the Old West, where the name James Younger Gang instilled fear into the hearts of even the bravest pioneers. Famous for their reign of terror, this notorious gang has left a trail of bloodshed and chaos in their wake. Among their most daring and unforgettable feats was the infamous raid in Northfield, Minnesota. Join us as we dive into the fascinating story of the James Younger Gang, uncovering their fearsome reputation in the Old West and details of the bloody Northfield, Minnesota raid. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. The James Younger Gang, a notorious American gang in the 19th century, revolves around the charismatic characters Jesse James and his brother Frank James. Their activities are mainly concentrated in the state of Missouri, the home country of most of the members. Gang membership is not fixed, as many individuals would join or leave, and their raids are often months apart. Besides the infamous James brothers, the gang also boasted a roster that included the younger brothers, Cole, Jim, John, and Bob, as well as other notable members such as John Jarrett, Arthur McCoy, George Shepard, Oliver Shepard, William McDaniel, Tom McDaniel, Clell Miller, Charlie Pitts, Chadwell, also known as Bill Stiles, and Matthew Ace Nelson. During the Civil War, brothers James and Younger both banded together under the leadership of William Quantrill, joining a ruthless guerrilla group that lived through many conflicts firsthand. The state of Missouri has witnessed their devastating activities as they robbed banks, trains, and stagecoaches for a decade. However, it was not until 1866, in the aftermath of the war, that their criminal activities really took on the identity of the James Younger Gang. It was in 1868 that authorities confirmed the involvement of Cole Younger, Jesse James, and Frank James in these crimes, which were related to the gang. Soon, this gang would become the most famous in American history, with many members living outlaws. Engaging in a variety of criminal activities, the outlaws met during the Civil War, most of whom were accompanied by Quantrill's raiders. Missouri, a state divided on wartime allegiance, has seen the group's involvement in many conflicts, both before and after the war. Brothers James and Younger, staunch supporters of the Confederate cause. Jesse James began his guerrilla career in 1864 at the age of 16, fighting alongside Frank under the leadership of Archie Clement and Bloody Bill Anderson. When the war finally ended, the James brothers continued to align themselves with their former guerrilla comrades, who remained together under the leadership of Archie Clement. It is likely that Clement was the one who, amid the chaos of Reconstruction in Missouri, turned the guerrillas into outlaws. The James Younger Gang embarked on their first robbery on February 13, 1866, when their group blatantly stormed the Clay County Savings Association in Liberty, Missouri. This daring act not only marked the first armed daytime bank robbery in American history, but also raised a staggering sum of more than $60,000. Tragically, as the daring outlaws escaped, a barrage of gunfire erupted, resulting in the tragic death of a 16-year-old innocent bystander named George Widmore. Missouri authorities suspected that a prominent Confederate guerrilla leader named Archie Clement was the group leader, and soon his head was paid. Four months later, on June 13, 1866, two members of Quantrill's Raiders were released from prison in Independence, Missouri. As a result, jailer Henry Bugler was killed. The James brothers are believed to be involved. The gang begins a string of robberies, many of which involve Clement's gang. Clement then again claims responsibility, this time staging a gang raid on the Alexander Mitchell & Company Bank in Lexington, Missouri on October 30th, 1866, successfully pocketing about $2,000. In an attempt to influence, Clement begins to lead the gang that threatens Missouri residents to manipulate their votes against the Republican Party in the upcoming election. However, a detachment of state militiamen was dispatched in the town. They convince the bushwalkers to disperse, then attempt to arrest Clement. 
In the end, Clement refused to surrender and was shot down in a fierce gunfight on the streets of Lexington. Despite the loss of their leader, the outlaws stayed together and continued to commit crimes for the next decade. The gang's activities spanned much of the central part of the country. They are suspected of robbing banks, trains, and stagecoaches in at least 11 states. Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, and West Virginia. The bloody robbery in Northfield, Minnesota, marked the downfall of the James Younger Gang, albeit leading to the formation of a subsequent gang known as the James Gang. In early September 1876, the group took a train to Minneapolis, from where they split, some heading to Mankato and others to the Red Wing, located on either side of Northfield. After thoroughly scouting the area, the gang carried out a daring plot to rob the Northfield Bank on September 7, 1876. Inside the bank, Jesse and Frank James, along with Bob Younger, were in charge. While Cole and Jim Younger, Bill Chadwell, Clell Miller, and Charlie Pitts stood guard outside. Inside the bank, the group of outlaws encountered resistance when Joseph Lee Haywood, a staunch banker, refused to comply and was shot dead. The other two employees in the bank were teller Alonzo Bunker and assistant accountant Frank Wilcox. Bunker managed to escape from the bank by running out the back door despite being injured in the right shoulder by Pitts as he ran. The sound of gunfire alerted the citizens of Northfield, who quickly armed themselves and began shooting at the thieves outside. In the ensuing chaos, Miller and Chadwell were killed, and Cole Younger suffered a gunshot wound to the thigh. At the same time, Jesse, Frank, and Bob Younger hastily retreated from the bank. Bomb injured his right elbow. In a tragic turn of events, the fighting claimed the life of Nicholas Gustafsson, an innocent Swedish man caught in the middle of the gunfight. Fleeing the scene, the surviving gang members are chased by posses. After several days, the group only reached the western suburbs of Mankato when they decided to split up, with brothers Younger and Charlie Pitts taking one path while the James brothers chose another. After an arduous 300-mile chase, the pursuers caught up with the Youngers near Medelia, Minnesota on September 21, 1876. A fierce gunfight broke out, resulting in the death of Charlie Pitts and Youngers were injured again. Eventually, the Youngers surrendered and pled guilty to murder to avoid execution. After their trial in Fairbault, Minnesota, Members of the James Younger Gang were found guilty of murder and subsequently sentenced to 25 years in prison in Stillwater. In 1889, Bob Younger died of tuberculosis while serving a sentence. After many legal disputes, Cole and Jim Younger were pardoned in 1901, but Jim committed suicide on October 19, 1902. Cole Younger lived in Missouri and died on March 21, 1916, aged 72. Meanwhile, the James brothers escaped and returned to their home state of Missouri. They settled in Nashville, Tennessee, and lived there for about the next three years. However, driven by life as an outlaw, Jesse James embarked on a new criminal endeavor in 1879, forming the infamous James Gang. Until his death in 1882, the remaining outlaws continued to rob banks, trains, and stagecoaches. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.